Another headache for patients at a Stewart Healthcare Medical Center. Cancer patients now have to go elsewhere for treatment after their clinic in Brockton suddenly shut down. WBZ's Tammy Mutasa is live in our satellite center now to explain. Tammy? Lisa, it is really frustrating for patients who just want to survive. One woman got four days' notice the cancer center was temporarily closing. Now she and others have to find a new place to finish their treatments, and now they're demanding answers. Everyone knew my name. I knew everyone's name. It was, it was more than a doctor's office. Those people are really special. When you've gone through the fight of your life like Kristen Thompson, your place of care isn't just a hospital. Yay. And after battling breast cancer for two years, braving 24 rounds of chemo and a double mastectomy, the Hematology Oncology Center at Good Samaritan Medical Center in Brockton is a second home. But now, the center is temporarily shutting down, leaving her and scores of patients scrambling for care. I was shocked. I was sad. Um, honestly, I'm still upset about it. It was devastating. I felt like I lost part of my family. Um, you know, I went there every day during chemo. Kristen was supposed to have her two month follow up appointment, but it was canceled. Instead, she got this letter from Stewart Medical Group saying the fusion center temporarily closed and her oncologist was gone. She and other patients will refer to other care centers in Brockton, Taunton and Weymouth. I can't imagine the elderly, the people that are going through chemotherapy, the people that aren't as resourceful as me that might not have transportation. They can't just go to the other side of the city. They can't travel to Boston. They can't travel to Taunton. We reached out to Stewart Medical Group. In a statement, official said the hematology oncology service is temporarily paused because the physician left and will be reopened as soon as we recruit a new one. To say it's temporary is actually insulting. Officials say while outpatient services are impacted, inpatient services are still running. But some patients worry about the writing on the wall with a financially troubled hospital system. The last asset that that hospital system has is their physician network. So once that's gone, there's nothing left. While Kristen is waiting for her medical records so she can go to a new place, she's now reached out to the governor's office and elected leaders to intervene. It's unconscionable, honestly. They need to stop this immediately. They need to reopen the cancer center. They need to make sure the patients are safe. And the state's Department of Public Health knows about the situation. Officials say they'll help as needed to make sure patients continue to have that access to treatment and services. Tammy Motasa, WBZ News. All right, Tammy, thank you.